In Destiny, where the boundaries between light and dark blur into a canvas of cosmic conflict, lies a realm few have seen and even fewer understand, the Pale Heart. Today we dive deep into this mysterious domain, where memory weaves the fabric of existence and the rules of reality are rewritten. Memory may be the key in darkness and the Pale Heart, and new lore from Queen Mara hints at how this place works. What is the Pale Heart? From what we can gather so far, this realm exists inside the Traveler, and as Asa said, gives us a glimpse back to the beginning. Shrouded in darkness. A promise of something more. Two halves of a whole. Long divided. A schism between them. Reunited. A glimpse beyond to the beginning. Light and dark collide, terraforming creator in the Traveler, mind and memory of the Veil. The Pale Heart seems to combine both. This place is full of memory and can be reshaped and transformed not just by the Guardian, but it seems by anyone. The Witness can even achieve this. A question would then arise, what exists here and what doesn't? Cade returns and acts as a guide in the final shape. We don't know if this is Cade Cade, the one who died in Forsaken and is possibly alive, or back somehow teleported here. Or if this is a memory of Cade. Does someone like Ikora conjure this up to be, or does Cade actually exist here? To me, it seems more like the latter, because in the new trailer, he acknowledges these future events like he's aware of what's happened in the past. Cade said he woke up here in the Pale Heart, and then his journey continues. When I woke up in this place, I could have almost believed it was paradise. I feel the light flowing through me. It's everywhere. We also don't know if Cade or anyone can leave this place. If Cade is a memory, maybe that explains why he can't leave, but could others like our Guardian? Osiris and Mara with Crow are still trying to figure out how to get the rest of us in, so is there any exit? Back to the point though, what actually exists here? Is this an alternate dimension where life, flora, and structures can be created from memory? Or is it all just memories? Nothing truly exists, it's just made up from the mind. That the veil is darkness. The power of consciousness made manifest as much as the traveler is the light. The power of the physical world. The implications are great. Osiris straight up told us darkness exists in many forms. Memory was one of those. The veil exists as the power of thought and consciousness. The veil and combination of veil and traveler has effects on human and exo minds and consciousness. Joxer learned this when he tried to go through the portal. Joxer's grip on the controls lightens as he feels a bone-deep sense of vertigo. Echoes of piano notes tinkling in his periphery. He can feel hands on his chest beneath his armor, breath against his cheek, inside his helmet. Eric, come back to bed, a voice whispers inside his mind. He sees a city, a home, family and children. He can't sleep. They aren't alone in the universe. The Ares Project is going to... His ghost is screaming, shell coming apart at the seams. Joxer pulls himself back to reality and jerks the controls as the nose of the hawk touches the portal. He hears laughter, screams, feels lips on his cheek, hands on his shoulders as the ship begins to pass through. His ghost scream stretches from the moment of the Big Bang to the heat death of the universe. Joxer hears a scream he will make as his ship begins and ends. Come back to bed. He catches up to the scream. Everyone on the initial survey team died. The minute they touched the object, they entered a state of... of brain death. All of them. To make it worse, the EM radiation emitting from the veil is causing psychological distress in the exos that came with us. They've all described moments of intense hallucinogenic reverie 
Some of them went silent and rigid and just stopped. So we've mentioned Joxer's story here and the Akashic Records, but it's even more intriguing when we bring up the new Marasov lore in a bit. The Akashic or Akashic Records are a concept referring to a compendium of all human events, thoughts, words, emotions, and intent ever to have occurred in the past, present, or future. They are believed to be encoded in a non-physical plane of existence, known as the etheric plane. The term Akashic is derived from a Sanskrit word meaning ether or atmosphere. According to these beliefs, the records can be accessed through meditation, psychic intuition, or certain altered states of consciousness, providing insight into past lives and the spiritual journey of an individual's soul. While the Akashic records are considered a spiritual concept and lack empirical evidence, they are often used in metaphysical studies to explain phenomena such as deja vu, intuition, and psychic occurrences. So just hearing that, is the Traveler a sort of etheric plane? A plane where everything that has ever happened exists, in this case as a memory maybe, non-physical, and in Destiny's spin, the Traveler's terraformation powers allows it to manifest these memories into physical form. At its root, the Traveler is a terraformer, a, a gardener. It generates natural life, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planets. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. In the new lore card for the Forbearance Weapon in Into the Light, we get an interesting quote from Marasov. Here's the card. Marasov stepped lightly. She knew that nothing short of gunfire could disrupt the Cryptarch's meditation, yet she was still loath to disturb the uncanny silence of the Hygieia Division's libraries. She approached a raised dais where Cryptarch Shalom held a glowing engram in her hands. It pulsed faintly in time with her heartbeat. The queen wears a question on her face, Shala stated, her expression impassive. You see beyond sight, as always, Queen Mara replied. What will happen when the darkness of the witness commingles with the light of the traveler? The cryptarch set the engram aside and held their hands out, palms up. Some believe the light and darkness are opposites, contradictory, irreconcilable. But we know better. Shala brought her hands together in a sharp clap. When light and dark merge, they form something more. Her fingers intertwined. A synthesis, stronger than either alone. Powerful, like the Awoken. And like our people, she concluded, its form will arise from memories of the forgotten, those who witnessed the end and returned as a beginning. During the collapse, humans were changed when light and dark would collide, sending them into the distributary where they began a new life as the Awoken. The Pale Heart is no different, she says. Memories of the forgotten, those who witnessed the end likely died or were transformed and returned as a beginning, something new. An example, Cade. Cade tells us in the recent trailer that he awoke here. Now the weird part with Kate is we're not sure how long he's been alive in this place. Either it was right after his death, or the final shape portal collision of light and dark caused it. Heck, some even believe it was an Ahamkara wish because Crow said this to Riven. Before then, I could have taken a different road. But once I pulled that trigger, he shakes his head. Everything else I can set right, but not that. I just wish I could tell him I shouldn't have done it. In that card, the Unforeseen Consequences lore card, Aldrin thinks he was talking to Mara the whole time when it was Riven, shapeshifting and appearing as Mara Sov. So with Cade, a bunch of things are up in the air. If the dead or forgotten do return to this realm, it also makes me wonder who else will pop up. We see allies, but will our enemies as well, like Nazarek, Ralk, or maybe even Tanix, you never know with Bungie. Memory has always been important in the game's lore and story. Clovis Bray's resetting of minds, the veil as you heard in dialogue, and even our most important companion, the ghost. Ghosts were created by the Traveler but can reach parts of the darkness, parts that pull these memories of past versions of your guardian itself 
able to bring it back to life, or that's one of the theories. In Ghost Fragment Ghost, all the way back in Destiny 1, there's some interesting lines within this card. The powers in charge have carved up all the worlds, and maybe a brown dwarf or two for good measure. With that rubble, they fashion a topologically creative enclosure, a twisting of space and time sealed behind doors that admit only those who know the magic words. The bones of a hundred planets have been cut smooth and laid out like a floor, a polished and lovely floor creating vast living spaces, a floor bigger than 10,000 worlds catching the fierce glory of seven suns. I remember it and maybe it's exactly as I describe it, seven suns wrapped inside magic, or it's something else entirely perhaps, a place still fat with life, an abundance of sentient souls, some decent, maybe a few of lesser quality, and everybody stands about or floats about, or they bounce between dimensions. The point is that the residents of this hidden realm live inside a bottle so perfectly hidden that they can't see beyond their own borders, which shapes a mind in very specific ways. But beyond is their name for a mysterious, doubtful realm they can't see, which is us, of course. Destiny, though, has often messed with timelines, events and enemies that return over and over again. Maybe the Pale Heart is the reason, a place where everything that has witnessed its end can return, a record and memory of every moment in life from the entire universe. Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. Wanted to throw some of these lore entries together, specifically that new one with the Awoken. When you start to put lore over the last couple of seasons together, it makes more sense. We know how the Awoken were created, and now Mara and Crow are heavily involved in this new realm. Osiris has been studying the Veil, how it deals with mind and consciousness, which also connects to the Pale Heart. But anyway, Guardians, if you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.